Louis, check yep. it. I ain't happy for nothing. No. Two praying hands, I know I'm protected. Hey. I'm the GOAT, Lord is my shepherd. Hey. Dude, like Welcome to this very special episode of NBA 2K TV. I'm Alexa. 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Hosting the series tonight in Los Angeles, it'll be the Clippers going up against the Milwaukee Bucks. Well, for Milwaukee, they weren't able to capitalize on their home court advantage in game two and now look to get back on the winning track. We'll see how they do. And when you're entering a borderline must-win game, if you're the coach of this well, give me your best coach. Well, I'm going to bring it to bring it in, guys, bring it in. So listen, you know, we can't change anything that we've done. We've gotten here for a reason. There's no reason to change what you've done. Let's go! You're good enough. Yeah. You're good enough oh, right, now. Play. right now. Right now. Right here. Play. Right now. You could be anywhere in the world. Are you talking but to you're us? right here. Are you talking but to you're us? right here. Huh. And I'm an assistant coach. Maybe this team needs a little pressure. Playing without urgency is helping put them in this situation. Maybe pressure could get them out of it. Ready? Let's go. One, One two, two, three. three. Team. Bright lights and tall buildings of downtown Los Angeles setting the scene for us here tonight. A 2-0 start to the finals. Things could change direction here in Game 3. 2K Sports brings you NBA playoff action. With Brett Berry and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan, and David Aldridge will be joining us on the sideline as well. Hey, Dave. Well, the NBA changed the lottery odds in 2019 to encourage competition among its conference's least successful teams. But some want even more to be done. They call for eliminating the draft altogether. Another potential solution? A play-in tournament for teams 7 through 10 in each conference, which would eliminate the need for trying not to win as much as possible during the regular season. However it's done, the league has stated its desire for parity. Kevin? Great DA, thanks. Here are the starters for Milwaukee. Giannis is the four with Lopez the five. Then it's Holiday. Then it's Chris Middleton. And it's Murphy in at the two guard. And for the Clippers, Patrick Beverly out there with Paul George. Then there's Kawhi Leonard. Then it's Ivica Zubac. It's Kevin Kelly in at the four. Tip-off goes to the Clippers. Here's Beverly. Pass to Zubat. Beverly with the ball. Six to shoot. Over Holiday. And it's Beverly missing. Well, maybe not the best shot against that kind of defense, but he still has the ability to knock that kind of shot down. And it's always nice to get the easy look inside for your first points of the game. Now, here's George. Over Murphy. And George gets it to go. PG playing behind the pick and roll, able to use his size. Pretty good decision that time with the basketball. Onto the Kumbo, looking it over. And they call an illegal screen here. Uh, kind of a ticky-tack foul there, but you have to be aware that's how the refs are going to blow the whistle tonight. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. Beverly dishes to George. Nobody near Leonard. And the three ball is good. When you're a veteran player like Paul George, you understand that even 24 seconds is a long time. Great patience to wait for that play. Now here is Holiday. And there's the call on Patrick Beverly. That is his first foul of the game. Here's Giannis. The 11-footer, and the shot is long. Over in the corner, Beverly. 
Oh, good with the triple. And, and close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Or if he can't hit. Just a, enough coverage to bother that three-point attempt. It's George on the wing. He's guarded by Murphy. Six on the shot clock. A second chance effort. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. In that height, with that much of an advantage height-wise, there's just not a lot the defense can do. The Clippers shooting their first free throw of the game right now. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. The free throw drops for Zubox. Bucks have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. And the pass to Lopez. Dishes to Murphy. And he can't stop the run as he misses. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests. And that's just enough. Uncovered at the rim. Finding cracks in the defense here early on really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. Free throw no good for Holiday. I don't know if Drew Holiday's an underrated player, but he certainly is underappreciated with the way he can go at you as a two-way guy. He can score, and he can also guard positions one through four. Now here's Middleton. Kawhi Leonard unable to get his shot to go. And Drew Holiday, the bucket on the assist by Middleton. Seven points for Drew Holiday. Well, that's a shot he can hit. If you give it to him, you need a little more energy on defense that next trip down. Offensive rebound. Man, you get so caught up in the bravado of someone scoring on you and you wanting to even the score. Unfortunately, he couldn't answer back. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. Here's George following the basket by Giannis. George passes to Leonard. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. With those long arms and with the high release point, Leonard is practically daring you to foul him. This is his first trip to the line tonight. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. A free throw good from Kawhi Leonard. When he came into the NBA, Kawhi Leonard wasn't the most refined player, but something in Spurs management and with the work of the coaching staff, they found a superstar. Both free throws good from Kawhi Leonard. Well, when he gets into a groove at the free throw line, it doesn't just last for tonight. This might be two weeks, two months, something like that. Floats one, and he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. And Middleton kept working and working, did not quit on the play, and that forced the defense into a foul. For Milwaukee, they have started out 0 of 1 from the line, missing their only other attempt early. down the first one. The versatility Middleton offers up is exceptional. A capable defender, a good scorer, an effective shooter. Those are the kind of switchblade players the coaches love. Middleton hits them both. The Clippers trail. George with the bounce pass. Leonard draws the double. Oh, and that one had the right spin on it, and it is good. And Paul George in the mid-range area, just dominating that possession. If he passes two on the Kumbo. For three, Middleton. The shot, no good. The Clippers go the other way with it. Now George. Shoots it up. Here's Kevin Gillis. Oh, and he plucks it off the glass. Wow. Zubats kicks to George. 
just five on the clock. The Clippers need to get off a shot. And it's Beverly missing. Now one player sometimes can drag down your offense, and it seems to be an anchor here in this quarter. A shot by Holiday. Nobody around. Sinks the three-pointer. Holiday's got ten points in the game. Oh, great ball movement there. And the Clippers decide to take their first time out here. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. Yeah, they're like a four-day-old soda right now, just flat, Greg. They're missing shots left and right and just not playing their best. Here's a peek at the 2K leaderboard with the list of the top rebounders in this year's playoffs. Second, Giannis Antetokounmpo. He's dialed up his rebounding here in the postseason. There's something about the big games that bring out the best in him. Holiday against Beverly. Out of bounds. Milwaukee takes possession. So here's Murphy. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. And that'll be Milwaukee as it goes out of bounds. Bucks retain possession. On defense, the Clippers trailing by two. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's on Kawhi Leonard. The Bucks have made two of their previous three free throws in today's game. drops for Murphy. That one is no good. Clippers trail by three. Back to Leonard. Good ball movement here by the Clippers. That shot, no good. Great tee that time for Middleton. Over in the corner, out of the Kumbo. Good, and the assist goes to Middleton. Middleton's got three assists tonight. Well, Giannis continuing to work in the offseason at becoming a more efficient and better three-point shooter. That one looked nice. Now here's Leonard. He has five, and that one is good. Guys, that's just really unstoppable. He poses a ton of matchup problems for whomever he's facing. Outside Holiday. Passes it to Middleton. It's hauled in by George. A lot of defenders choose to just back up off of him when he's in that tight, try to avoid the and one, and this time they're not backing off. Now here's George. Shot clock at six over Murphy. And it's George missing. Well, he's a guy they count on to produce from the mid-range. He doesn't miss too many open looks from there. I love the unselfishness, and you know coaches do as well. Well, not just coach, but you can see it in the teammates, the way that they look at him, they appreciate it when he shares the ball like that. And that one's good. Beverly. You can't play too far off of Patrick Beverly, or this can happen. Middleton against George. Now here is Murphy. He's tightly guarded, and he banks in the layup. Murphy's got his second basket of the night. And that's what the pump fake's there for. Get your man off his feet time out, time out. and drive right around him. And the Clippers call time here. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this timeout also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game, and that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. A platoon swap here for the Clippers, and it's blocked. Here's DiVincenzo, and the three off target. Clippers trail by five. Down low, Ibaka, and Ibaka slams it in. Yeah, just the length and explosiveness. Ibaka is a true force at the rim. 
Got a piece of it. Hondo with the steal. Here's Cousins. Giannis Antetokounmpo grabs the miss. Antetokounmpo's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Here's DiVincenzo. Back to Connaughton. Poked away, and the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Ibaka. Bryn Forbes, he's checked in for Milwaukee. Here's Connaughton. Here's Yacht. And the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. That reach is just ridiculous. Giannis easily beating everybody to the ball and then sends it back. Cousins inside, working on Portis. Yeah, good-looking bounce pass to set up that one. And it's Hunter Takumbo with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. It's a three-point game. Connaughton passes to Antetokounmpo. Tipped away. Five on the shot clock. With the clock winding down, and Antetokounmpo slams it in. That's fun to see the handles coming out there from Antetokounmpo. I mean, how do you stop a near seven footer who's got some dribble skills like that? On the wing, Jackson covered by Giannis. Here's Ibaka. That's basket number two with his third shot off to a fast two for three. And boy, did he ever sell the pump fake. Worked to absolute perfection. Jackson from long range. Rebound, Milwaukee. Giannis has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Here's Connaughton. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Here's DiVincenzo. It's rebounded by Rondo. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. Here is Forbes. 115 left in the first. Pass to Connaughton. Five to shoot. And a wide open look for Portis. Hits it from three point range. And the Bucks lead by six. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Rondo kicks to Jackson. Trying to get open as a buck. And there's Jackson on the assist by Rondo. Both teams running perimeter oriented plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three point line. I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. Here's Mann. Rebounded by the Bucks. Andre DeCumbo's got the glass covered here tonight. 11 boards for him. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. A three. And another three for Milwaukee. Can't talk enough about the subtleties in that setup right there. The assist. Really the key to that entire sequence. Here's Cousins. He gets it in there. Well, I like to watch when DeMarcus Cousins outworks any defender. He finds ways to score. Even with the aggressive defense surrounding him, he'll find a gap. Drew Holiday has been on display for Milwaukee. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. We're back with you as these two teams do battle in their quest for an NBA championship. And what stands out to you from the Bucks in this one? Well, this is the edge that great rim protection can give you. Yeah, you can't be careless with your shot selection out there because some of them are getting thrown back. Bucks leading by four on the court for Milwaukee here in the second. We've got Bobby Portis. Karuch is out there with P.J. Tuck. And it's DiVincenzo in at the shooting guard position. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Clippers will retain possession. And on the screen now is the 2K leaderboard with a rundown of this postseason's assist leaders.
Here's Rondo. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Inside. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. The Clippers shooting their fourth shot at the foul line here. And that one falls for DeMarcus Cousins. And what we know about Cousins is he's a competitor. And I think he just relishes the opportunity every night to get out there and show what he's capable of doing. And I think a lot of people have been rooting for him more so in the past couple years than when he first came into the league. No luck that time in the shot that would have put them on top. Shoots the three. DiVincenzo gets the bucket. DiVincenzo's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Knocks it loose. Outside Leonard. Good. And it's Cousins picking up the assist. And it's nine points for Kawhi Leonard. I mean, with just how dominant he can be scoring inside and outside, to have that kind of vision, wow. A complete center. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. The Clippers shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Shooting two. And he makes the first. You wonder if Paul George finally has a situation here where he could show why he's an elite player, why he's an all-star, but to pay off how hungry he is to prove it with a late postseason run. And it's tied up with that one. And here in the second with about a minute and a half gone by, DiVincenzo passes to Tucker. Here's DiVincenzo. Here's the three. And it's rebounded by DeMarcus Cousins. George, that's a two-pointer. The basket is good. That's his sixth attempt in his third make. Now, Paul George ready to shoot as soon as he caught it. Quick release there. Here's Murphy outside Portis. And out of bounds as the Clippers gain possession. And that's just carelessness there. I mean, you have got to have your head in the game. And the Bucks with some changes. Lopez, he's checked in for Bobby Portis. Giannis comes in for P.J. Tucker. And Middleton subbed in for Rodion's Kourouz. Pass to Kevin Kelly. Goes up with a stripe. A rebound by the Bucks. They lost their last game on Tuesday. When they ran the offense right, they found some easy shots. But on that occasion, it was few and far between. Yeah, lots of ups and downs. One good possession, two bad ones, one good one. They could never get on a steady run and play some solid offense. Here's George following the bucket by the Bucks. The pass to Leonard. Right side, George. Count that as his fourth basket of the night. Just seven shots to get there. Oh, man, this would be a different ball game if they didn't have this type of scoring to rely on. Lopez dishes to Middleton. Even Shenzo can't hit it. Yeah, and that was lining up to be a huge alley-oop, but they just couldn't quite connect. Yeah, you can see when it's that close, players reacting. Just, oh, man, we just missed that one. Maybe they'll get another chance at it. Got that bucket in in no time at all. Middleton's got five. They've given up a lot of three-pointers here today. Outside Leonard. Passes it to Kevin Gill. Zubats with it. Takes the... Zubats has got his second bucket of the night. Well, guys, this first half has been about as tightly contested as you could hope for. There have been a lot of lead changes. Goodness. DiVincenzo, another shot, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Uh, more and more, it's about the maturation process of Giannis and his game, learning now how to sell defenders with pump fakes. The Bucs shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game.
First free throw is good. It's interesting as Giannis has grown in this league, the Greek freak we know is so versatile, just competing to be one of the best players in the business. Drew Holiday, he's checked in for Dante DiVincenzo. He hits one and misses one, each at the line. He was able to tie it up. He has to be disappointed that he could not give his team the lead. Yeah, still trying to calibrate right now because he had one three in the first quarter, but nothing since. Pascal Lopez. Over Beverly and Brooke Lopez, the bucket on the assist by Holiday. And the Bucks lead by two. Well, over time, the game has changed, and there's some new wrinkles to Lopez's game, and that introduction of space is helping out this offense. Here's George. He can't get that one. Good D by Lopez. If he passes to Giannis, and the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. It's a huge night for Giannis Antetokounmpo at the offensive end of the floor. That length and athleticism just proving to be too much for any defensive scheme. Now here's Beverly, and the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Beverly. Bucks leading by four. Antetokounmpo kicks to Murphy. He dishes it to Middleton. Here's Lopez, and a miss there on the triple. And so it's Leonard with it. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. Pass to Zubat. Now here's Beverly. Lock at six. Back to Leonard. Leonard draws the double. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. For Milwaukee, they've gone 5 of 11 from the field since the beginning of the second quarter. And here is Lopez from outside the arc. A three-pointer is right on target. Lopez has got the lead up to seven now for Milwaukee. The Clippers shooting at an even 50% from the floor here in the second quarter. The pass to Zubac. Back to Beverly over Holiday. And it's off the back rim. No good. Here's Milwaukee now. They're on a 13 to 4 run. The Clippers shooting around 41% on the night. It's tipped. Here's onto Takumbo. And Giannis throws it down. Yeah, go ahead and get in front of that if you want to. Man, with a dunk by Giannis. And the Clippers call time here. Giving up a run here. Can, can they turn it around? It's hard to say right now. At this point, I've seen the coaches run through two or three iterations of defense. Is there a fourth? I'm not sure. Brooke Lopez with the foul. That's his first foul. And it's the Clippers with the ball. They trail by nine points. Here's Kevin Gelly. Oof. Ugly second quarter for him. And now I think he's starting to really force the issue. Yeah, the defender all over. This is his first free throw of the game. Shoot two. No good on the free throw. Good on the second free throw. Here's Holiday. He's got 10. There's the lob at the Kumbo. An emphatic LU jam. Yeah, you could throw that pass just about anywhere, Kevin. Even the top of the square for Giannis to go and get. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Here's Kevin Gillick. on the clock 
And here's Leonard from three. And the rebound goes to Lopez. Here's Milwaukee now. They're on a 17 to 5 run here. And the foul called on Kawhi Leonard. That'll be his second foul of the game. It's his second foul, but not the end of the world. One more before halftime, though. That would change some things. Serge Ibaka has checked in for Zubas. Now, here's Adedekumbo. Now, here is Murphy. Seven points in the game. And the foul called on Kawhi Leonard. And that'll be his third foul so far. To the paint. Leonard with the steal. The turnovers keep coming. It's been a pretty sloppy start to the game for them, but they're still in the driver's seat. This feels like it's snowballed a little bit on them. The more he tries to shoot his way out of this slump, the worse it seems to get. They need him to get it together. Back to Beverly. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. The three from George. That shot was off. Now the Bucks take it the other way. Here's onto Takumbo and the dunk by Giannis. And their balanced effort at both ends has hushed this crowd. All night long in control of the pace, and you don't want to let go of that rope right now. Now here's Leonard. He's got nine. Kevin Gelly. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It goes on Giannis onto Takumbo. Wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. The Clippers have been good at the free throw line. This one, seven of eight. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Well, his body control is phenomenal, and his ability to get to the line has always been impressive. That's a huge part of his game. Both good from the line that time. Milwaukee leading by 13. Middleton outside. Giannis outside. Just four to shoot. And it's Kevin Gelly with the rebound. Kevin Gelly's got six rebounds now in the game. Holiday with the block. Now get that out of there. That's all timing right there. Drew Holiday continuing hustle play. Ball's knocked loose. Giannis against Leonard. From deep. It's rebounded by Leonard. Leonard's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And one thing I liked in the first quarter was their aggressiveness to draw the contact, putting the defense on the defensive. You know, a lot of times we talk about time good out, passing, but accurate passing is a huge quality of a good pass, and Leonard did it there. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. And they're picking up a lot of fouls already in the penalty. Not a good sign. They need to focus on moving their feet and maintaining a good defensive position. And the Bucks with some changes. Portis comes in for Brooke Lopez. And it's Bryn Forbes in for Drew Holiday. Pass to Murphy. And the foul called on Kawhi Leonard. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. And that's his fourth foul. And we're not even at halftime. That is going to limit his playing time and his aggressiveness the rest of the game. Dante DiVincenzo. He's checked in for the Bucks. Now here's Young. 18 points for him. Second shot opportunity. And the rejection by Cousins. Here's Jackson. No good there. And that would have cut it to single digits. And here's Middleton bringing it up now for the Bucks. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. And sometimes it takes a while for all that length in Giannis to catch up to those feet, but once he does, man, he can explode. Now here's Rondo, still looking for his first bucket in this one. Man, covered by Giannis. It's rebounded by Portis. Milwaukee leading by 13. Pass to DiVincenzo. They get the rebound. And to Dacumbo. 
And the rejection by Cousins. I like it. Cousins making impact on the defensive end. Nice to have a rim presence and blocks that shot away. And there's the call on Giannis Antetokounmpo. That's his third foul so far. Bonus situation in effect, so we'll head to the free throw line for two. For Los Angeles, they have gone 9 of 10 from the line, so making the most of their chances. What's up? And that one misses. And what's interesting about Ibaka, he's played basketball internationally ever since joining the NBA back in 08. In fact, he won a silver medal with Spain in 2012. Looking at who's out there now for the Bucks, P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Giannis Antetokounmpo, and it's Pat Connington in for Chris Middleton. Oh, oh no, he's the last guy you want to put on the line. You can just about book the points every time he steps up. Take there. a break, take a break. Two shots. first free throw is good and Jackson certainly doesn't lack confidence a speedy guard who can fill it up in no time that one misses and with the success they've had rebounding the basketball they're right where you'd expect them to be firmly in the driver's seat Murphy can't hit Clippers trail by 12 stolen Pass to Portis. Here's DiVincenzo. And the shot is good. Dropping in off the front of the rim. DiVincenzo's got five points now this quarter. And so it's Milwaukee sitting with a comfortable lead up by 14. And it's been their rugged defense setting the tone. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Chris, you guys were able to get the lead. What was the key to getting all those open shots? Uh, it was just getting stops and uh, getting rebound and getting out and pushing, uh, finding lanes, finding open guys. And you made the most of it, Chris. Thanks a lot. Kevin, back to you. Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everybody. SRO. Standing room only. Ooh, nice. I'm your host, Ernie Johnson. Got Shaq here. Got Kenny the Jet. Well, for Milwaukee, they desperately need a win, trailing two games to none, and they've responded in a huge way tonight, displaying championship-level skill and effort. Kenny, your thoughts on the Bucks' first half? You have to marvel at the uniqueness of the Greek freak. From half court, he needs only two dribbles. That's right, two dribbles to get to the rim. He can pass like a point guard at almost seven feet. The list goes on and on. And over to Shaq. Now your take on the Clippers. Well, first of all, as cold as they've been from the floor, I can't say I'm surprised by the score. You cannot shoot the ball that poorly and expect to be in the game. Early. They need better ball movement. If their offense stays this stagnant, they can forget about a comeback. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to begin in just a few. And we're back with you, all set to bring you more action from game three. You look at Anadokounmpo, and this game has been everywhere. Well, it didn't take him long to get that double-double. Already has it halfway through the game. Yeah, guys like him love to stuff the stat sheet. He's doing it here. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. Third quarter action getting rolling right now. Brought to you by Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Here's who's on the floor. So for the Clippers right now, We've got DeMarcus Cousins, Patrick Beverly out there with Paul George. Then it's Ivica Zubac. It's Kevin Kelly in at the power forward. Murphy dishes to Holiday. No good there. George with the defensive effort. Clippers trail by 16 to the left side wing. Cousins offline with his three. For a 
three. Middleton, a putback. Great positioning on the putback. That's a battle down there. It's, it's one of the reasons Lopez has been in this league for over a decade. Solid effort. And that's his fourth, and no doubt he would have liked to have not gotten it this soon. Leonard, he's checked in for Los Angeles. A little over a minute gone here in the second half. Clippers moving the ball around. No good from Zubac. And the effort never stops with him. No easy shots when he's on the floor. Well, it's about the defensive end, and that's what guys feed off. He gives the effort down there at all times. They get it back, and it's Kevin Kelly missing. And here's Holiday, who will bring it up for the Bucks. 18 points separating the teams. That's the biggest lead of the game. And there's the pass to Middleton. Jacks up a three. Rebound by the Clippers. Well, he definitely forced that shot, guys. He had plenty of time to adjust himself and kick the ball out and look for a better shot. Have to give credit to the defense there, too. Bucks leading by 18. To the inside. And to Takumbo. And Giannis throws it down. Middleton right now staying aware of where his teammates are and hitting them when they're open. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Chris Middleton. That is his first foul of the game. George passes to Zubat. Back to George. Kicks to Beverly. They need this one. Shot clock at six. That falls. Nice speed that time from George. George has got three assists now in this one. Holiday with the three. And to Takumbo. Planks the putback jam. George looking over the floor. To the middle. Here's Kevin Gelly. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. And, and that's the kind of lead pass we've come to expect from him. This is his third trip to the free throw line in the game. Outside Holiday, and there's the call on Patrick Beverly. That's his third foul of the game. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. Outside Holiday, the three carries it from three point range. Holiday's got 15. Yeah, you would think a coach might have talked to his defense about making the adjustment on him, but right now, he's just lighting him up. Passes it to Leonard. Here's Kevin Gelt. And another three for the Clippers. Something's brewing, guys. The three-pointers just continue to flow. Pass to Middleton. Back to Holiday. Beverly, shot clock at five, and the rejection by Zubats. George with the ball, now guarded by Anadokounmpo, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It goes on Giannis Anadokounmpo. Well, height and length at that position for Paul George, that's problematic for a defender, and he used his size to draw the foul that time. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. Free throw good from George. And George drops them both. Bucks leading by 12. Holiday, the 
pass to Lopez. Fires for three. It's hauled in by the Clippers. And Kelly's got 11 rebounds in the game. Knocked away. Here's George. He goes up again. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That one is on Holiday. First one falls for. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. Good on both. Well, he's come through for them at the line today, and you love having a big fella who's so capable on his free throw. Ties it from 19, and the basket by Murphy. Murphy's got nine. Well, an outstanding floor general right there. Holiday has switched between point guard and off guard in a great feel for when guys are open. Now here's Leonard. He's got nine. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. This is a one-man show right now. He's on a mission to get him out of this hole. Pass to Murphy. Over George. Murphy can't hit. Yeah, my expectations were that he was not going to miss that one, Kevin. He handles that kind of defense, especially on the inside. Let's it go. And with that one, the lead is trimmed to single digits. 14 points for Paul George. Milwaukee leading by eight. The pass to Murphy. Holiday dishes to Lopez. That one goes in. Good soft hands there from Lopez. Efficient in the catch and shoot motion. And it's the Clippers ball. They're on a 17 to seven run. Outside Leonard. The shot's good on the assist by George. George has got five assists in the game. That's how you draw it up right there. A screen, you shed the defense, a quick move to the bucket, and you get the lay-in. Middleton for three, knocks down the three ball. 11 points in the game. And that's what Middleton is known for, a remarkable outside shooter, and that release got off pretty quick. A nice passing here by Los Angeles. Leonard, that's for two, and the rebound goes to Lopez. with the ball he's got nine trying to go for an alley-oop but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. that one go he's counting george has got 16. stellar anticipation by leonard to create the fast break opportunity that's why he's a perennial defensive player of the year candidate now here's young he's got 22. puts one up from 19. it's held in by zubat Zubats has got nine rebounds in the game, getting it done, and good that time. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. Marcus Cousins is checked in for Los Angeles. Hondo comes in for Patrick Beverly. Portis, he's checked in for the Bucks. Out to Takumbo, finds Portis. And here's Holiday. Now here's Middleton. He's covered by Rondo. And Giannis with the basket on the assist by Middleton. Giannis has got four points now in the quarter. Making shots against good defense, that's what great NBA players have to do consistently. And if you want to be elite, which Giannis is, that's a prerequisite. Here's Cousins. He gets that one. He's got nine. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Here with the ball, Leonard picks him up. Passes to Portis. The Clippers grab the miss. Kevin Kelly's got 14 rebounds tonight. Going after. Here's Leonard. It's rebounded by Portis. 
Portis has got seven rebounds in the game. Well, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls, anything they can do to get him started. Well, I'll tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. For Milwaukee, they have shot four of seven as a team from the line tonight. Several misses early. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls, and the Clippers making a change here. Jackson's checked in. Bryn Forbes, he's checked in for the Bucks. Dante DiVincenzo comes in for Drew Holiday. And both free throws good for Giannis. Clippers trail by nine. Rondo kicks to Jackson. Pass to George. Great tee that time for Middleton. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests, and that's just enough. And just tacks a few more points onto their lead with the tomahawk. Ah, that's bringing it down hard. So it's the Clippers now. Following the bucket by the Bucks. Rondo can't get it to go. Forbes the pass to DiVincenzo. Outside Portis. He kicks to Atatakumbo. Back to Portis. Four on the shot clock. Poke loose. DiVincenzo. And they'll turn it over. Could not get off a shot before second violation. Clippers trail by 11. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Outside, George. Basket is good. The assist from Rondo. Rondo's got three assists tonight. Uh, he can be just lethal from the perimeter, even though he didn't get good looks in the first quarter. Will that make right there? That could change them. Now here's Rondo following the miss by Giannis. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. Yeah, that's two bombs in a row from long range. Pass to Portis. At the Giannis. And Giannis throws it down. So hard to stop down low. Giannis gets around the basket and feels like within eight feet, he's going to dunk just about anything. Under the Kumbo against George. And the rejection by Giannis the pass to DiVincenzo. They grabbed their own miss. And to Takumbo. A shot off that time. Clippers trail by seven. Feeds to George. Some solid defense from Ana Takumbo. There's 47 seconds left in the third quarter. And play stops. Whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. And he has to take that long slow walk back to the bench here. He, he'll watch the rest of this one from the sideline. Leonard, he's checked in for Jackson. And then for Milwaukee, P.J. Tucker comes in for Antetokounmpo. And it's Pat Connington in for Chris Middleton. Now here's Rondo. The feed to Leonard. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. Milwaukee leading by seven. The shot and game clock separated by four. Even Genzo passes to Tucker. Here is Forbes. And again, the Bucks miss. On the wing, Jackson. Oh, Leonard in position. And you want more of this from Jackson. The more unselfish he is, the better the team. Giannis Antetokounmpo, he's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for the Milwaukee Bucks. His stat line has been terrific. As the quarter ends, he's already got a double-double. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute.
and a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. And that's what great passing will do for you right there, dissecting the defense with that play. And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. Setting the floor for the Bucks. Portis is out there with P.J. Tucker. Then it's Chris Middleton, and it's Forbes in at the two. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. And I like the back and forth here showing confidence from Rain. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now, it's a shootout. Now, here's Rondo. Passes it to Mann. To the inside. Ibaka. Here's Cousins. Second chance shot. It's rebounded by Portis. Portis has got rebound number eight now on the night. Here's Middleton, kept alive. A nice shot by Tucker. And now a seven-point Bucks lead. And that's a lesson for the D. Fight harder on the glass. Yeah, you just can't afford to give up second-chance opportunities again and again. A pretty free look from three-point range. The D forgot about him on that possession. Well, you concern yourself with the other guys who you think are going to damage you. And he stepped up and delivered that huge three-point shot. So it's the Bucks now. Following DeMarcus Cousins' three, DiVincenzo can't hit it. Well, there's more he could have done in this game for sure, but it hasn't kept them from pulling ahead. Rondo, good. Well, Rondo concentrating right there, focused. Even when you hit him, you can maintain that good balance. Pass to Middleton. And the rejection by Cousins. Man passes to Rondo. Now Jackson. Some nice ball movement by the Clippers. And Rajon Rondo, the basket on the assist from Ibaka. That's now eight points for Rajon Rondo. Yeah, he with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. Here's DiVincenzo. And nothing is falling for him right now. And so it's Rondo bringing it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. They lead by one. And Cousins does not mess around in the post. When he's got that kind of positioning, he's going to ram it home. Time out, time out. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Timeout called the Bucks, And doesn't like how things are going right now. The timeout before the timeout here, maybe just to cut off the momentum and have a chit-chat with the team to settle down. The Bucks making a switch here. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Hey guys, I was able to listen to what Mike Bodenholzer told his team during that timeout. He said, this is where we make our move. This game's going to come down to big plays. Whichever team makes them is going to come out of here with the win. Kevin, we know what side he's on. Pass to Holiday. This now to Lopez. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. We've seen Lopez be more and more assertive in looking for his shot, which in turn draws the defense's attention to him. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw, no good. And Lopez serves as an unbelievable case study for someone who changed his game over time. I mean, almost in a season. So specifically, how he added the three-point shot, it's made him such a valuable asset to this offense. No luck that time either. And that's a rare missed opportunity from him. He'd been good as gold up until that point. Here we go with Holiday running it up the court. It's deflected, and it's out of bounds. The Bucks able to retain possession here.
Lopez kicks to Middleton. Holiday with the three. Paul George instincts right there just taking over that possession. He's using his length right there to take away a lot of airspace for the shooter. Everly with the ball. And Holiday picks him up defensively. George passes to Leonard. Offensive rebound. Zubats. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That's on Brooke Lopez. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. Free throw drops for Zubac. And the Bucks making a change here. George is checked in. And he makes the first but misses the second. Well, I mean, a semi-productive trip to the free throw line, but we'll see whether or not it costs them. They get it back. Lays it up off the glass. Karuch has got it all tied up now for the Bucks. Clippers have gone five for nine from the field in the final quarter so far. Knocked loose. There's the pass to Zubats. Outside, George buries the long-range jumper. George has got 22. Well, you can see and maybe feel right now him getting into the comfort zone out there after dropping the second three of the half. And then Murphy with the dunk. And sometimes as a point guard, you got to take things into your own hands. Yeah, right. It's okay to be selfish when you have a chance like that. Well, if he's calling his own number, there's a reason for it. There you respect the decision-making from him out there. And, boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Same thing. This time out. Seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. One made three form for the game. Does he focus closer in? Let's see. Three-point shooting since the half has been about as good as you could ask for. Now, here is Murphy. There's the triple. Good for his sixth make in a dozen attempts, shooting 50% with that basket. And great intensity here down the stretch. He's not one to shrink in the moment. Now take a look at him. Locked in right now in this moment. Wants the ball in his hands and feels real comfortable with the shot he's taking. The Bucks making a change here. Donatons checked in. 100 kicks to Beverly. Six on the shot clock. Shoots it. And no good. The Bucks go the other way with it. This is it to Holiday. And another basket for Milwaukee. Excellent screen and roll there by Holiday. He gets a great look at the rim and then calmly steps up and knocks it down. Outside, George over Murphy. And it's George missing. And here's Holiday who will bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. Dishes it to Murphy. Beverly wide open. That ball with nice speed that time from George. And the Clippers lead by two. Here's Holiday. Fires from the wing. The Clippers grab the miss. 100 kicks to Beverly. Leonard looking over the floor. He feeds it to George. The shot comes out, and Milwaukee the other way now. Here's Middleton. The offensive rebound. Murphy can't hit. You know, altered shots don't show up on the official stat sheet, but as we saw there, he does a great job of doing that as well as collecting the rebound. Count it. Now it's a four-point clipper lead. Now that basket must be widening out right now, Kevin. He's making almost every shot he's putting up this quarter. And the foul called on Kawhi Leonard. That's it for him. He's fouled out of the game. And that is a big loss 
for this team. And this game still in the balance, and he's someone they always want in there at crunch time. Yeah, and, and luckily, they, they've got terrific depth at that position. If there's one spot on the floor where they can afford to lose somebody, that would probably be it. Near the three-point line, it's Morris. The rebound by Holiday. Holiday's got his fourth rebound in this one. Middleton getting up there uh, allows him, with that height, to get up and jam it down. George against Murphy. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And the first one drops. And as a team, they're hovering around the high 80s from the free throw line. They've gotten better as the game has gone along, which is exactly what you want to see. He hits both from the strike. And a guy who's bounced around the league a little. Surprising given that Morris is a solid shooter and a pretty good defender and rebounder. If you're with the ball, George picks him up. Tucker the pass to Lopez. He gets hauled in by Los Angeles. Zubats has got 13 rebounds in the game. Seeding. Murphy with the steal. Middleton up top. Hucks passing it around. Lopez outside. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. How about Lopez inside showing some smooth, fluid moves? Shooting two. That's good from Brooke Lopez. Reggie Jackson's checked in for the Clippers. So he gets them both. Here's Beverly. A floater, and it's good on the way in. And he's shaking off that slow start, giving them a boost here in the second. If you're with the ball, George picks him up. If he passes to Tucker, over Jackson. Milwaukee, no good that time either. Clippers leading by four. On the wing, George. Kicks it to Beverly. Just five to shoot. Here's Jackson. Rebound, Milwaukee. Middleton's got six rebounds here tonight. To the left wing. If he passes to Middleton, and here's Holiday, guarded by Jackson. The shot by Holiday, no good. It's been a struggle all night long from deep, but doesn't seem like he's lost his confidence. He's still letting him rip. Right wing. Beverly for three. That falls. Nice speed that time from George. Beverly's got the lead up to seven outs for Los Angeles. Middleton on the wing. That shot misses. Some solid defense there from Jackson. Now Beverly. It's George on the wing. Yes, it's good. George has got 30 points. And, and once they smell blood in the water, you can see the killer instinct take over. Yeah, up until that point, a competitive game. But once they broke through that barrier, it was all them. Complete control. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. They're behind by nine. 52 seconds left in the game. And now the presentation of our Jordan player of the game, Paul George. And his performance has been a jaw-dropper. 
it must have been feeling great coming into the building tonight because once he hit the court, it was all working for him. He was in a zone. Some players rise to the occasion in the playoff spotlight, and some wilt under it. We know which type he is. What a stunning night for him. Fifty-two seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Middleton inside the three-point line, and it's good off the back rim and in. Now Middleton is shooting the ball extremely well in this one. Nice rhythm. Might be tough to slow him down. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Murphy, and so he's picked up his final foul he will sit for the rest of this game. And guys, this is where their depth really comes into play. They, they've got such talent at that position. They'd love to have him out there, but they won't suffer much of a drop-off. First free throw is good, and that stretches their lead to eight. So both free throws are good. And it's a nine-point ball game. Ooh, I think that's a wrap. And I can tell you, you can't have more pressure-packed free throws than the ones that are going to seal the game. Now here's Middleton. Doesn't get it to drop for him. Here now the Clippers. They're on a 15-6 run. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. seconds left in the fourth quarter. Pass to Karuch. On the arc. He can't hit that time. And so Los Angeles takes the win. You have to think at this point, up three zip. It's only a matter of time now, Greg, until this series is in the books. Uh, you know, this victory all but seals the deal. As strong as they look throughout this game and this series, I'll be shocked if they don't close it out in game four. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much, DeMarcus. Congrats on the win. We know how tense you are on the floor, but it looked like tonight maybe you're having a little fun out there. Um, that's, that's the thing. I'm just trying to come out here and have fun. I got a lot going for myself, and I'm too blessed to be out here <laughs> frowning all the time. So I'm going to try to keep smiling on myself. Well, it's a good look for you, man. Congrats again. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. Well, that'll do it. Thanks for joining us for Game 3 of the NBA Finals. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. See you next time.